Each year, a dedicated team from the Department of Geology at the University of Kerala embarks on a journey to Luna Crater in Buj. Initiated in 2015, this annual expedition has been pivotal in scientifically confirming the impact origin of Luna, marking a significant milestone in impact studies in India. Hence today, Luna Crater stands as the fourth confirmed impact crater in India, joining the ranks of the ancient Dhala, Ramgad and Lonar craters. Thanks to a strong collaboration with Krantiguru Shyamji Krishnavarma Kutch University, the team enjoyed the accommodation at the university's guest house during the previous years and this year as well. The journey to Luna takes about two and a half hours by crossing the Tropic of Cancer and traversing across the extensive run of Kutch and Bani Plains. Along the way, we enjoyed breakfast in a small hamlet of Birandiyar. As continued our travel, we could see that the remnants of the renowned Ran festival celebrated from December to February still linger in the area in the form of inactive tents, shops and hotels. As we proceeded towards Luna Crater, numerous commercial salt furnaces and units came into view. Finally, we arrived at Luna village nestled in one of the Gujarat's remotest regions. The locals welcomed us with heartfelt hospitality, offering us a cup of tea and we too exchanged pleasantries. Afterwards, we engaged in a conversation with the local residents to plan our strategy and a route towards the crater center with the locals graciously providing us with valuable guidance. The journey towards the crater center was challenging. Negotiating thorny bushes is arduous. The harsh temperature of 41 degrees Celsius at Luna made the journey even more excruciating. Along the way, we encountered herds of buffaloes, sheep and other wildlife further elevating the rustic enigma of the region. Finally, we arrived at the crater's center. The lunar crater of Gujarat, a hidden gem within the arid landscape, offers a striking contrast to its surroundings. This young crater nestled amidst the rugged terrain is a testament to the Earth's tumultuous history. Its rim manifesting as a series of undulating hillocks encircles a sediment water-filled basin which whispers secrets of ages past. Luna crater would be one of the youngest impact crater that witnessed by you. Yeah, the crater is expected to have formed approximately 4000 years ago. So this kind of coincides with the presence of the Harappan civilization along the banks of river Ness. The crater's floor, filled by bunny sediments, holds a quiet beauty even in the harsh environment. Here, amidst the tranquility and isolation of the run of Kutch, Luna Crater invites contemplation, offering a pathway to the vast geological and cosmic processes that shaped our world. We are almost in the center of the crater. We are here to construct a deep trench. Today, we embarked on a reconnaissance survey. The crater appears incredibly dry, with visible mud cracks on the surface. It's astonishing to think that, even after the crater center being marshy for 11 and a half months, the crater has now completely dried up. We continued our journey to the center of the crater by walking over the huge expanse of the mud cracks. Our expedition across the crater extended further into the day unaware that the sun had slipped down in the horizon. Across the eastern sky, the sun had ascended, casting its golden rays in every direction. Today, we have scheduled two endeavors. The first one being constructing the trenches with an excavator to uncover the potential ejector deposits at Luna. 
and the second one being employing an unmanned aerial vehicle equipped with LiDAR and an optical camera to decipher the morphology of Luna Crater. We embarked on our excavation journey with the excavator with the trenching commencing early in the morning. Fortunately or unfortunately, only one of the 25 trenches yielded the impact ejecta. This is the ejecta layer we have found out at the Luna Crater. And this is approximately 30 cm in thickness. Meanwhile, Dr. Yunus Ali Pulpaden, Assistant Professor at the Department of Earth and Environmental Studies, Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research, Mohali, conducted the LiDAR survey with precision, maneuvering the drone through the sky. He imparted his scientific and technical understanding of the crater morphology to the children of Luna Village, sharing valuable pieces of knowledge in lucid language. The sheer joy and excitement on the faces of the kids were prominent. On the third day of exploration, we dedicated the entire day inspecting and re-evaluating the different trenches. In between, the team had their own private time. Amidst the bustling activity, we paused to unwind and savor a soothing cup of tea from Hajipur. The endeavor stretched into the late hours of the night as we diligently gathered samples for numerous geological studies. As our final day drew to a close, the villagers bid us a heartfelt farewell. Under the shimmering moonlit sky, they surprised us with a sumptuous country chicken feast, a delightful gesture we hadn't anticipated. Brimming with dreams and aspirations, we began our journey back to the University of Kerala, our hearts overflowing with joy and contentment. We departed with the promise of more discoveries awaiting us next year, provided the lake dries up as anticipated. <laughs>